There are three credits you have to get in your college life. Academic performance, club activities, and love. How many credits have you get? Uh... <laughs> How have you done on these aspects? Are you making some plans to achieve these goals? Well, don't feel stressed about my questions. I'm just going to share my own experience with you. Not for club, not for love, but for my studies. Well, you must have this kind of thought. Oh man, I study all day long. I don't want to know anything about studies. Well, just take a look, and because I have something uncommon and unique. The story dates back to a long time ago. When I first entered NTU, I was a freshman full of hope, energy, and curiosity. I have studied hard for approximately 10 years. I wanted to try as many new things as I could, and I don't want to be a bookworm anymore. So I, uh, I went to exhibitions, speeches, um, contests, and attended clubs for dancing, volleyball, badminton, and joined until Toastmasters. I made lots of new friends, and also kept in touch with the old ones, spending lots of time chatting and hanging out with them. Well, I had such a colorful extracurricular life, I started to lose my interest in my studies. I entered the Department of Atmospheric Science because of the love for nature. But before we study something about atmosphere, we have to take courses like calculus and physics to gain some basic knowledge. Unfortunately, I was not good at mathematics or physics at all. I always needed more time than others to comprehend the courses. That was a torture to me. So due to lack of interest, confidence, and ability, I started nodding off in classes and avoided reviewing, reviewing the courses after school. So you must have guessed the terrible results. I got bad grades in these subjects, and I even felt calculus. Now, you, you might think of me as the worst student, right? That's what my parents thought, too. They couldn't believe that your perfect child who got good grades all the time did things like this. I was extremely frustrated about myself as well. I felt disappointed and thought that I would never achieve success in the future. However, things changed magically when my sophomore year began. When my sophomore year began, as you know, everybody decides to work hard at the semester, at the beginning of the semester, right? <laughs> I was no exception. But according to our experience, making a wise mind is easy, while staying committed and determined is much more difficult. So I made lots of efforts concentrating and focusing on my studies and spending more time reviewing courses and doing homework. Furthermore, I got some classmates to be my companions and support each other to uh, do our homework and schoolwork. After one year of hard work, my grades progressed significantly and I even got an academy award for first place last semester. Well, you might think as following now. Hmm, Michelle is still a good student. Or, wow, well, Michelle is more intelligent than I thought. <laughs> to sum up, in two short years, I have been flunked and also got an academy award. I suppose few people here have this similar experience, right? But I'm not showing off or being shameless when I talk about these experiences. What I really want to say is that getting flunked 
for getting good grades, these things are not important at all. Grades have their own kinds of, some kind of meaning or value, but for me, there's something more special and valuable during the process. Indeed, I felt calculus. But after that, I rethought about my attitude towards learning and realized the truth that some subjects are just not my cup of tea. <laughs> On the contrary, I got good grades in my sophomore year. However, it just means that I met the requirements of these subjects. But was I really interested in all of them? The answer is no for some subjects. The most of the greatest acquisition is that I found my own interest in gender issue and feminism through certain courses I took. That's the greatest harvest. So my advice is, no matter high or low grades you get, what you should do is to reflect deeply on them. Credits are just credits. What I really gained is the true meaning of learning. So this is exactly the most credited credit in my college life, TME.